New York is playing host to the world's political and business leaders as various events are holding alongside the United Nations General Assembly. Right here in the middle of the town, all eyes are on Nigeria, and the brain behind this event explains why. If people had called me, say, look, um, we are not government. Why don't we leave this for government to do? What's our interest? What's the deal here? They always think anything we do, there must be a deal. There's no really deal other than the deal for Nigeria. So that that clearly sets the tone for discussions as the panel, which include a good number of top government officials, take turns to highlight the factors that stand Nigeria out in investment concentration. The business environment in Nigeria has received a lot of attention because when we set out, we decided that we must have a plan that is coherent and uh, that includes all the sectors of the economy. And we realized that there was a need to make sure that the plan is underpinned by the activities of the private sector. At the moment, in the last three years, we have increased power production from 4,000 megawatts to 7,000 megawatts. And this year, there is another 940 coming to be delivered. Next year, 1,115. And these are on grid supplies only. But where we have the big challenge now is at the 33 kV and 11 kV points where the transmission companies hand over the power to the distribution companies. That's where the biggest investments have to go today. We've worked very hard to um, to achieve a sustainable and a stable exchange rate regime in Nigeria, where as an investor you can say, uh, can I predict what's the level of exchange rate, what kind of um, uh, uh, velocity of uh, variation do I see in exchange rate? You can you can have a six month, even even a one year view about exchange rate in Nigeria today, unlike before when it was fluctuating um, very very badly. More important, however, are the testimonies from successful business owners in Nigeria who gladly share their experiences. We have never had in our 57 years one problem with a CCI or capital exportation. Capital is sacrosanct in Nigeria. It has been for 57 years and there, there is, trust me on one thing, Nigeria is not only open for business, it is pro-business and pro-capital. For a country with 180 million people, 40, 44 million TV households. Anyone who wants to invest in that sector has a great opportunity waiting for him. And those are the kind of stories we have to tell to let people know that the country is indeed a gold mine and indeed open for business. One of the key areas that drives corruption on the continent really has been transparency. Without a doubt, you know, embracing ICT clearly makes a huge difference in the amount of value we derive and we retain within our countries. After a highly interactive session, investors also say that if the current reforms are sustained, with the private sector playing a leading role in driving the economy, Nigeria has all it takes to attract global investors.